You're live. I'm live. Get out. Get out of town. Hey, everyone. It's Gina. How's everyone doing? Okay, this is the cute little guy that I finished. Uh, it was Saturday. I was working on live. And so there he is, all cutie patootie fied. If you would like uh, the pattern to him, it's on my Facebook group. So you can go and um, get the pattern and the instructions on the colors I used and all that. So there he is. He's cute. So today I wanted to do another. If you hear a noise, it's my heater. It's a little chilly. A little chilly today. But I wanted to do another um, ornament. And uh, again, I got these from Michael's. And I've already sanded and put sealer on it. So we're ready to go. And I've traced my pattern. And I did create this pattern too. So let's see. I'm going to try to line it up the best that I can. Oh, here a kitty cat. That's, um, hi, Deborah. How are you? Um, if you hear a kitty cat, that's Max. He's wanting in Amanda's room. She's not having it. All right, let's see. I'm going to line this sucker up. This pattern and instructions will be on my Facebook group too for free. It's under the files section. My freebies to y'all for this holiday season. All right, now I'm just going to take a piece of uh, graphite paper. And... I am going to use this little stencil, not stencil, stylus. <laughs> oh, I am doing very well. So I have to have a crick in my neck. I think I slept on it weird. Um, all right, let's see. The thing is, when I traced around the wooden thing, it kind of made it bigger, but here we go. All right, so I kind of want the line to go here. And I think I'm going to freehand these little things right there. So, and I left his mouth off because I think I may want to do his mouth a little differently than how I drew it originally. Originally, I drew it like that, but I think I might want to give him like a little half smile, like he's smirking a little bit, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I think I'm going to, I don't know if I did these already or not. We'll see. And I think I'll do the lines by hand as well. And let's do the little eyeballs and put his little nose. And we'll do his nose after we paint his um, sweater. It's just easier. I got this stylus when I bought... Um, bunch of nail art stuff. I've got a whole bunch of them and I've had them for probably, oh, I don't know, a couple of years. And I just now realize I got like four of them together, four or five maybe. And I just realized they had different ends. I am on my uh, little web camera here. Because I could not get my bit my regular camera to work. So I apologize if the quality is not as good as it normally is. But I think I'm going to live stream more than I'm going to do other videos. It's just easier, really. And I like it because then I can actually talk with y'all. And we can craft together. Y'all can craft what you're crafting and I can craft what I'm crafting and we can just have a little chit chats. I think that sounds great. Okay. And I think I'm going to do the little wavy line to, um, just by hand. I got the inspiration for this when we went to, um, Bath and Body Works the other day. And, oh, good, good, good. Um, and they had this big little, the big, it was a big little Santa, but they had a, a Santa 
with a bowl and a gingerbread uh, boy in it and a spoon and all that. So I kind of got inspired from that to draw it when I got home. Put the little eyeballs on there. Okay, hopefully this is all transferred over. Let's look. Ah, ta -da -da. Cute, cute, cute. Very, very cute. Well, hello, Lisa. How are you? Um, so let's see. Let's start by that is as crooked as a cat's tail. Um, let's see. But that'll be all right. We'll 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 be all right with that. All right. So the jar. I think I'm gonna make it. I'm doing good. Um, I think I'm going to do a jar like in a teal color. You know how like some of the mason jars have that uh, greenish teal color? So I think that's the color I want to go with. I think it'll be pretty. Um, so I'm going to be using a peacock teal. We're going to try that for the background of the, um, smell of the jar there. So, shake it up really good. So, how's everybody been doing? How's everybody's holiday shopping going? We were supposed to have gone Saturday, but Barry's tooth. Oh, my gosh, y'all. It's not his tooth. There's like a bump or something on his uh, gum. And it, oh, it gave him the hardest time. So he wasn't feeling that great, but he's got an appointment tomorrow for the dentist. It finally quit hurting. Thank goodness, because, you know, he has a high tolerance for pain. So for him to sit there and say that he's hurting, he is hurting. So, and I did not like that. So we didn't get to go shopping like we were going to do. So we'll have to do that this weekend. All right. I got my paint and I'm adding just a little touch of water just a little oh good y'all can see me over here what i'm doing ain't that great all right um so i'm just gonna go ahead and paint around this little guy y'all is that gonna be too dark eek well too late now it might be pretty Maybe I can put like a um, blue chiffon, dry rub of blue chiffon over it to just tone it down just a bit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like to make it look like uh, glass. We'll try that. Why not? All right. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've still got to go shopping. And um, I did find the little angel tree. That it helps the kids that, you know, they're in foster care and you can buy things for them. And it only, and I was so happy to see that it only had like three angels on it. So I'm hoping that a lot of people, you know, have gotten. But like I said, Barry wasn't feeling good. So we didn't have a chance to shop for him. So hopefully we can get that done too this weekend. I'm not going to worry about the back of the ornament. Not right now, anyway. Sometimes I paint the back, and sometimes I, I don't. So, but I am painting the sides, though. This is where you got to hold your breath so that you don't go over the line there. Well, hello, Jennifer. How are you doing? I'm just painting, painting ornaments. So, you know, when I got, when I saw this little Santa, not Santa, snowman, you know, I'm not the best drawer in the planet. It took me probably an hour to draw him because I had to keep erasing him. But I think he's turned out cute. So, and I am addicted to this decorative painting. If you've gone to my um, 
Facebook group. That's all you're seeing. I know. <laughs> I did a Nutcracker drummer. Oh my gosh, he is too cute. Renee from Plum Purdy did that one. And it's so cute. But there's also, y'all, I didn't know, but my scan and cut, my brother's scan and cut, can cut balsa wood. Can you believe that? So you know what I'm probably going to be doing? Probably going to be creating some templates and doing some uh, decorative pieces, you know, like this ornament I bought. But if I can cut this out of balsa and wood, and you can get the sheets at um, Walmart, I think. Did I see them at Walmart? Or was it Michael's? Okay, Jennifer, have a good day. Um, but yeah, you can buy Boston wood and um, sheets. So I don't know. I'm going to try it. Why not? I need to get my money's worth out of the, um, <laughs> out of the scan and cut, you know. All right, there. All right, we'll let him dry. We'll let that part dry. Okay, that looks like a hot mess right there. Let's fix that up. I'm going to go with a zero brush. It just looks a little wonky around his hat. Let's try to clean that up. Now, this camera, I don't, I'm not crazy about it. I really wish I could get my better camera to work. There. That look better? Y'all, I'm wondering if this is what I thought. Hold on, let me try something. I'm wondering if I put like something underneath. Here, let's try this red thing here. Will that help the lighting, I wonder? Because I'm just wondering if it's the because of the um glare. See, it is awful. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. But I think we're okay. Here, I'm going to bring him up so y'all can see him a little better. Oh, there he is. See how cute he is? Okay, so now let's see. Let's go with his... If I could just keep it up like this, it would be great. <laughs> Here, why don't I just hold it? Maybe that'll work. Okay, we'll just hold it. All right. I'm going to let that dry before I do another coat. I think I am going to do two coats. Or maybe I shouldn't do two coats because then it really would look like a glass jar. Because it'll have the streaks in it, you know. Yeah, that is better, isn't it, Deborah? I'm going to have to figure out something, y'all. Because this tripod tripod. I say that every time. Tripod won't go shorter. But it does need to be up some, doesn't it? And then it will that's pretty good. But okay. Let I'm I'm gonna think about that because I like the way can y'all tell how it's kind of it see it looks blue on my computer, but this is teal. It is teal, but it looks blue because of the camera. Um but you see how it's kind of got little streaks in it? I kind of dig that. So I kind of, I don't think I will do two. Here, i got to put it down. Um, I don't think I'm going to do two, two coats on it because I like that look. All right, I'm trying to find what happened to my, here it is, let's see, on the floor. Okay, so let's go ahead and do his hat. And I'm using like a green and a, pinkish color so the green I wrote everything down so I would remember jade green is what we need for the green and then I want to use terra coral for the pink and it is such a pretty pretty color I love it I always get paint all over me all right so let's go with the jade green first and I'm going to stick with, I think I'm going to go with a one round instead of the zero round. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can find it in my thing of paintbrushes. Ah, nope, that ain't it. Never mind. I'll just use the one. It's kind of small anyway. All right, so this part I want it to be green, the top of his hat. Oh, see, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold it though and paint. I'm gonna have it steady. We'll try it though, because I want y'all to see what. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so. I gotta remember to look over at the comments, <laughs> but I'm painting. I wish I would have known that that was gonna be a little stripe there. I didn't see that earlier. All right, so this is gonna be green. I'm doing the sweater and the hat in the same colors. Why not? It'd be cute. Oh my gosh, I think I'm about to sneeze. That will not be good. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Oh, he's cute, y'all. I like him. All right. Let's see, make sure he's going down. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead since I have this color out. I'm going to go down to his sweater. He's wearing a little sweater because it's cold, you know. Being out in the snow. <laughs> Somebody's backing up. It's like an ambulance. I don't know. I hope everybody's all right. It is an ambulance. Oh, I know who that is. I have a neighbor that they have an ambulance service come to their house. All right, see, this is why I'm in a zero brush. See how small that is right there? I mean, I could just go ahead and paint the whole thing and then trans. Go ahead and, um, well, hello, Sasha. <coughs> That's Sasha. Clunk, clunk, clunk. She has to figure out what's going on. But I think I'm just going to try to outline it the best that I can. This is tedious work here. Try not to get the ridges. You know, if you have too much paint, how you can get ridges in your paint. I try not to do that. Oh, wowzers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. What have I taught? I told you about the Christmas at Walmart. I just don't want to repeat myself. I don't know what plans we have. I don't think we really have too many. Um, we usually just chill at home because we uh we usually celebrate like on the twentieth. We've always done that, me and Barry, because my family always did Christmas on um, Christmas Eve, you know, and Christmas Day. So I'm trying to make the spoon look more like a spoon here. Um, so we always kind of, let's see, no, I don't want his hands, I want his hands to stay um, snow. Snowman colored. Yeah. All right. Let's see, bring it this way. So, but on Christmas Eve, we always go. Um, let's see. Oh no, Gina! No, no! Ah! I'm going on his belly. Oh no, tragic. No, it's not. <laughs> As long as baby wipes come in handy. Let me just wipe that off. I don't know what I was thinking there. Whoopsie. 
Let me add a little bit of water to this paint. Because, you know, acrylic paint, it, it dries pretty quickly. But, yeah, see, when you seal, that's a good thing about sealing. One, it um, keeps the paint from really, like, getting sucked into the wood since wood is porous. So it helps with that. And um, then if you do actually do a boo-boo like that, you can just wipe it off very easily. Right. Some of this is like, gotta really seriously hold your breath. All right, we're gonna need two coats of that, I know, because I want this darker than this. Um, let's see, and Yeah, okay, we'll leave it like that. Right. Can you need a little guy? But we don't, uh, I was saying the other day that we don't get gifts for one another, really. We kind of play a game. So we have to go get those gifts. Okay, this line needs to be straight. Oh my, I'm a little out. But this is when you get a Q-tip and uh, wet it so that you can do a straight line. I'm going to have to set this down. I think y'all can still see. I'm gonna have to figure something out there. All right, let's see. Yeah, there. Okay. All right. Oh my, make this worse and worse. Okay. Gina, stop, stop, girlfriend. All right. Okay, let's see. I think that's going to be good. Gina, stop, 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 stop. Can anybody else do that? Tell yourself to stop and you just can't. Because yet. You got to just make it straighter. Okay. I'll leave that alone. Alrighty. Now, let's go ahead and finish the hat up. Let's finish the hat up. All right. Now, I want to use the tor uh, Toral. Terra Coral. <laughs> Toral. New word. New color. Toral. And I'm sticking with the... Um, I think I'm going to go with the, whoa, the dog hair there. With, and on the top here. Why not? Okay, it's a little crooked. Let's see if I can't kind of fix that. There, that looks better. Let's see, and then his brim will be this color. I cannot believe that I finally have found um, decorative painting things. I've always wanted to decorative paint. I've always liked it. And uh, I just never knew where to go look. And luckily, Sarah from My Serenity Crafts talked about Plum pretty, purdy rather, <laughs> purdy. And uh, oh my gosh, her stuff is amazing. Renee's stuff is. And the artist club is another place. 
And then, of course, you know, I always have to do my own thing. So I came up with these last two things I've been doing here. And, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about, the balsa wood. I'm so excited that my scan and cut can cut that. I can't believe that it can cut it, but they say it can. So, you know, I'm going to try it, y'all. There. Now he looks orange. Isn't that funny? When he's down here, it still looks orange. It's not orange, y'all. It's like a pinky color. Oh, this camera stinks. I tried both my cameras. I tried my big camera that I normally videotape with. And I tried my smaller camera that I take my pictures with. And when I vlogged, when I would go out, um, I would take it because it's a smaller camera. They're both can Canon cameras. And uh, I couldn't get them to work. I even downloaded a software to, tr to see if I could do it. And nothing. So... Thanks, Denver. I think he's cute, too. Okay, and now we'll go the, like, the uh, neck here. I like to base coat first. And then I can get a better idea. And I'm hoping these colors will work. I don't know if they will or not. This is the first time that I've um, done this. So we're trying this together. I just tried the different. I wanted different colors. So hopefully they'll it'll work out. <laughs> we're going to find out, won't we? But I'm telling you, on the camera, these are not doing justice of the colors they truly are. It really bums me out. And this is an okay web camera. Here, let's see. Let me put him this way. Come on. Oh, isn't he going to be cute? I think he's going to be cute. I think he's going to be cute. Here, let's try to get this a little bit straighter. That's one thing I have to work on is doing better straight, better lines, you know. But, you know, I don't know. I, I kind of like it when it's a little wonky because I'm a little wonky. So, yes, let's see. I want these to be this color. So, if I'm a little wonky. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Amanda's got to be at her thing early today, so I'm about another hour, but I don't think this will take that long to do. This takes the longest time, really, is the base coating, because you want to, you know, of course you want to take your time. Well, hello, Sashi. What's happening, baby? <laughs> She's like, who are you talking to? You're not talking to anyone. It's freaking me out. She's my German shepherd. She's a big baby. Big, big, big baby. I have to find another groomer for her and Roxanne. We got a, our message from our, because we usually take them to our vet. And um, we got a message that, yeah, exactly, Deborah. That's what I think, too. I think when it's not perfect, you can really tell it's homemade. And I think that makes it even more special. You know? Because somebody took the time out to do it. Especially if it's a gift. That's what I can never understand about people, uh -uh. you know, who get all not happy about getting a homemade gift. It's like, dude, they took the time out of their life. To make that for you. My grandparent, my grandmother, we used to every year we would make a um I would, my brother would too, but mainly I would cry always do some kind of craft for my grandmother. Like an ornament or something, you know. I remember one year we did um, I guess, well, we called it shellacking. We did pictures 
you know, our pictures from that year, school year and stuff, and created her a thing for that. Oh, he's turning out cute. Um, okay, if my dogs bark, I apologize. The school bus is getting out right now. And sometimes they bark and sometimes they don't. So we'll see what they do. All right, let us go to his bot face and his body and his hands. And I'm using buttermilk for that. See, they didn't bark. All right, so we're going to use buttermilk. And again, I'm using a little bit of water. I just dip it in my water thing, the brush, just like the tip of it, and kind of, it just helps it to flow better. All right. So, yeah, she always loved, I think one year I didn't do it, one for her. And she was like, where's my craft because <laughs> she was always used and then when I um started I gotta lay this down can y'all see what I'm doing see this is what happened the other day but okay y'all can see the other colors this is just that really light color it's buttermilk so but uh then when I uh started uh, oil painting I would give her an oil paint I gave her and my mom. I gave everybody that year. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> I gave my um, aunt. I actually, there's a place in Tennessee uh, called Panthers Park. Panther? Something Panthers Park. I don't remember the whole name. But there is a beautiful little, like, island out in the um, lake. Which you can see from an observation point and so I painted that for her I don't know if she still has that painting or not. that one I was proud of because all the other ones I had here let me move it up see I'm trying to, to go around um, what I've drawn but it doesn't really matter you know what I'm just gonna go over it because we can easily put that back on. Or I can hand, hand do it. Um, but just to move this along a little bit here. But I had my other oil paintings. Um, you know, I had watched Bob Ross. I loved him. And um, so I've got a couple of his books and everything. And so... Like the one I did for my grandmother and the one I did for my mom were his, you know, like I just, I did them, but they were his creations or whatever. And, um, he is looking too cute. There we go. Okay. So, um, so that one though, for my aunt, I was really proud of it because that was totally mine. Like I said, I always... I always, I don't like the word copy because I don't like that word because it's not really copying. You're in, getting inspired, but I mean, and he did create the books and all that kind of stuff. So that's what they were for, for you to recreate. That's the word. I like that word, recreate. So, but um, I always recreate just like with this decorative painting stuff. And then I always end up doing stuff on my own because I don't like recreating Stuff. I like doing my own thing and uh, so that was the first time I ever did uh, my own landscape it was for her I thought it turned out really pretty and did I ever do a painting for myself you're asking no no I didn't sure did not <laughs> I've the one, let's see, I did one a couple of, and I did, I painted, like, I have a problem, y'all. I get, I get, um, enamored. Is that, a, is that the word? I just love doing things and I do them and do them and do them. And then I get bored of it and then I quit doing it. Right. And then I have to find something else to do. <laughs> That's just the way that I roll. 
So I had not oil painted. Well, I oil painted a little bit. Here, I'm going to go on down. Here, I'm switching brushes because I'm going to go on down. But um, I oil paint painted here and there. And then, you know, I didn't oil paint for a while. <clears throat> so now I've gotten all the oil paints out again. I'm trying to find a brush. Um, and so I've done two oil paints, paintings, since I got all the stuff that I needed. So see, that's what I'm talking about. I do like to oil paint. It's just, and I'll probably, um, oil paint again. Right now, I'm just working on all this, this holiday stuff. When the holidays come, I love doing the holiday crafting. It's one of my favorite things to do. All right, because this down here is the snow, and it's going to be buttermilk as well. So we can just go ahead and go down that way. That's why I did that. Okay. And I'm going to go on the bottom with it, too. Why not? Why not? But so for right now, I'm um, really into this decorative painting because I've always wanted to do it. So. But this, though, decorative painting, I think is going to help me like with my mixed media stuff and my art drawing, because I do like to do that as well. So, and my card making too. Some of the stuff you could do on the cards. Here, let me bring them up. Come on. Focus. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, he's cute. Look, I'm saying focus, and you know why it didn't look focused to me? I'm going to tell y'all why. All right, this is going to show my age, but I have bifocals, right? Well, when you get old, you have to have bifocals. I was looking through my bifocals. I like two feet away from me. That's why it looked blurry. Okay, laugh. Go ahead, laugh. Okay. Let's see. Now let's do the rest of them. See, we're almost done with the part that takes the longest, which is the base coating. I'm going back to my zero brush. So now let's do the... Oh, wait a minute. Well... That's okay. I almost forgot his hands. And then we'll just have to do another coat, but it won't take as long because you don't have to be as careful when you do the second coat. All right, so we're gonna go switch to Honey Brown. Because that's what our little gingerbread bully is going to be made out of. And the spoon. So we're going to do. So let's get the honey brown out. Honey brown. I bought so much paint. Ugh. I thought I had paint. Boy. Ugh. Now I do have paint. Because everything takes different colors. All right. Um, let's just go ahead and cover his whole little head. It's cute. Little. We're going to be making Christmas cookies. I made, oh, do you see that? Y'all, does anybody else do that? Or just me? Somehow, I see, I'm, I'm a messy painter. And I always get paint on me somehow, like it just sticks to me. And then it goes on to my working thing I'm doing here. Hey, hey, hey. But baby wipes, they're the greatest thing ever invented for us artists. But yeah, we're going to be making, I already made chocolate chip cookies and they're already gone. Um, So... We're going to be making um, sugar cookies. 
and I cheated and bought now the chocolate chip I made by scratch, by, you know, by hand, whatever you want to call it, by the recipe. Um, but the uh, sugar cookies, I bought the Pillsbury already because, you know, I hate making sugar dough because it's going to be rolled out Christmas cookies. We're going to do them that way. So I cheated on that. And I'm making peanut butter cookies. Now, I don't like peanut butter cookies. I can't stand peanut butter cookies, but that's Barry's favorite. So, I'm making peanut butter cookies for him. Chocolate chip's my favorite. Well, they're really all of our favorite. I asked which did they want me to make first, and they both, Barry and Amanda, both said chocolate chip, which I was relieved. Because I wanted the chocolate chip. I sure didn't need them, though. Goodness. Is your boot shine in your closet? Um, I think so. Say say hello. I'm live. Oh, hello. That's Amanda. I don't know what Daddy did with it. You might have to call him and ask him. Oh, because I know I put it on top of your drawer, your nightstand. Okay. Well, you might have to ask Daddy. I'll look and then I'll ask. If, if you don't see it, call him and ask him. All right, <laughs> prompt two, Amanda. Okay, so now for the little candy cane, we're gonna use a little bit of sand for it. I just coat that little sucker in sand. Okay. Again, using the smallest brush that I have. Well, it's not, I got a liner brush, but the zero will work. Oh yeah, I didn't need the chocolate chip cookies, but boy, were they good. Uh, I really got to get serious about getting healthy. I'm getting old. Ooh, Italian cook. Oh, Mexican wedding cookies. What are those? I've never heard of those. Mmm, yes. Nothing's better than getting cookies. Well, Barry, like I said, he likes peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter cookies. My mom every year would make him peanut butter cookies <laughs> for him. She's like, I know Gina won't make them for you. Mexican wedding cookie. I've heard of Italian. What is it? Italian wedding? Oh, Italian cookies. Are those like the per, are they called um, per, per, perillis? Per, something like that. But what's in the Mexican wedding cookies, Deborah? That sounds very yummy. Any cookie sounds good to me. Even though I'm a cake person. I like cakes better than I like cookies. All right. So now I'm moving to the bowl. And I think with the bowl, I'm going with cinnamon drop. Isn't this a pretty color? I like it. It's kind of like a pinkish color, but I'm, I'm going to like it. Hopefully I'll like it. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's a little runny. But too much water on there. Too much water on my brush. And that going to just pop? Look at that. Hold on. Let me bring it up. Ah, oh, man, I wish y'all could see this color better. Really? Oh, no. All right. Yeah, tomorrow, Amanda, through her, um, the Explorers. Oh, wait, here we go. They're like the meltaways. Oh, get out. That's what I thought they were. The pecan meltaway. Oh, my gosh. I love anything pecan, too. That's another thing I'm going to make is uh, the pecan crack, cookie crack. What do they call it? Christmas. Pe I did a video on it a couple of years ago. Pecan Christmas crack cookies or so uh, not cookies because they're not cookies. But uh, you use like Ritz crackers and um, 
you make like a caramel it's toffee not caramel but it's toffee and then you use um uh pecans and chocolate in it oh my gosh it is so good but yeah i'm having my last hurrah because come january i'm gonna go back to no sugar and go low carb i gotta i gotta get better here it, yes Mm -hmm. I love baking too. I do too, Deborah, and Amanda does too. She really she doesn't like to cook. She likes to bake. She makes a really good cheesecake. She made me a red velvet cheesecake the other for uh, Thanksgiving. Oh my god! No, oh, Halloween. I don't know one of them. Oh my gosh, it was so good. My mom always baked too. She like to bake. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. It's a little wonky. But that's because I think I trans... Come on, focus. Why is it not focusing? And this time I am looking. <laughs> there we go. Aww. It's going to be cute. But I'm okay that it's wonky. I'm okay that it's wonky. Practice, 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 you know? Like... All right. I've decided I am going to leave the teal this way because I like that it's, you know, like, it looks like glass to me. So that's why I'm going to leave, leave it that way. So now, but we do need to go ahead. Let's do another green. And let's see. I've got about 30 more minutes. Thank you for hanging out with me today. It's an overcast day, but not too cold, I don't think. I don't know. It might be a little chilly out. It was when I went out to the mail. See, when you go for your second coat, you can kind of fix the little blobs. I've really got to, I'm going to ask Barry what, what we can do here. He's in an he's you know, he's a mechanic, so he, he thinks he has different. And I used to use this camera before I got my bigger camera. This is the camera I actually used to um, videotape. Oh, I just got another one. Jeannie made that worse. Gina, you made it worse. Instead of better, we went down too far. Come on, bring it up. Bring it up, girlfriend. And it'll look good, too, when we start to um, shade it and all that. So, and what I'll probably do, I don't know, we'll see. All right. Cute, cute, cute. These are so fun to do. If you like to paint, of course, if you're not crazy about painting. You wouldn't really dig it. But I dig it. It's like, where have you been all my life? I've been searching for you. <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just move one top down. Well, hello, Roxanne. That's Roxanne. That's my little doggy. Oh, sorry, Roxy. She's getting in her bed. Her bed. She has a bed under my desk. That she likes to get in and curl in. <laughs> and there she goes. She's eating. So I guess she's bringing her food in and eating it. I like these live videos. 
Just wish again my camera would be a little better. But I like them. Because all of this y'all would not even see. I would edit all of this out. It's so hard. I'm going to be honest. It's so hard to do videos. To do. Because everybody likes different things. You know. Like. Some people like to see everything. Right. They're like. Yes. I like here. This needs to be a little wider. Here I feel. Try to make it a little bit symmetrical. Here. That's better. Um, but then some people don't want to see everything. They only want to see, you know, a two minute video <laughs> on a project that takes you hours to do, you know, and it can get a little frustrating, but, and I was very stressed. I'm not going to lie. I was really stressed and I was actually thinking about not doing videos anymore and just stopping YouTube because it was stressing me. It was really stressing me out a lot. More than what it should, because this is supposed to be fun for me. You know, this was supposed to have been it's supposed to be something for me to do to take up my time since Amanda, you know, her schooling. Well, now it's almost over. <sighs> that's a different topic. We'll go into that in a little bit. But <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just stressing out a lot because it was so hard to decide what people wanted to see and what they didn't and then some people are not very nice and you know I have a pretty thick skin I think and um you know some people I mean there were some comments that were really 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 not nice and uh so that was another thing but then I had to think you know I get a lot of good comments, though. More good comments than the negative ones. And and it seemed like there's, you know, the higher power was just looking over. Because every time I really thought about quitting. Um, you too, Deborah. Thanks for hanging out with me. But, uh, yeah, so. But every time that I would thought about quitting. I would get comments, you know, about how I inspired people and, you know, and that's what I really, you know, that's what this is all about for me is just to have fun and give ideas and let people create and have fun and get inspired to just play and have a good time. You know, life's too short. So, but I do like the live. Okay, this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> For some reason, my snowman... Okay, I'm going to leave it alone like that. I'm going to leave it alone like that. Alright. Oh, let me do another coat of the green. On his jacket. So yet yeah, Amanda is finished with her college. Um, her college courses. And. Oops. I just went way out of line there. Let me get a fresh Q-tip. So we don't have to do that anymore. So and then come January, we really don't have a lot of, um, we just have American Lit Look to do. And then, and economics. So by May, she'll be finished with school. All together, she's done. She's graduating a year early. 
which I always knew she would because she was, she used to be a year ahead of her age. Here, let me move this up so you can see it better. Honey, cute. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, she used to be a grade ahead for her age, you know, homeschooling her. And, um, I'm going to be quiet because that's delicate work here. Uh, so she's always been ahead until fifth grade. And then I just felt like we kind of rushed through the one year. And so, and it's weird because she never really had a grade per se, because we were always all over the place, you know, because that's the beauty of homeschooling. It caters totally to their level. So, I mean, she was still in the higher grade as far as like her reading went in her like for science and stuff. Well, for science, I kind of had to back off or we would have never had anything for high school because there was not high school curriculums for us. So, but we worked around all that. And, um, so, but she's, she's done and she was very excited. She did very well. I'm very proud of her because, you know, I've only been her teacher. She's never had other teachers. I mean, she did go to uh, the zoo here that had what they called Zoo Academy. So she was taught there. But it wasn't like a, class, you know, it was once a month and for the whole year. And, um, you know, it's not like she had homework and stuff like that to do. But. Yeah, she uh, she had three teachers, and they were all different and wanted different things. And just adding a little bit more water to this is getting a little sluggish. So yeah, I wish I could play music. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think he's coming out adorable. I do, I do, I really do. This is a delicate little work. So down to nobody watching, which is fine. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have to talk. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. But I'm still going to act like there are people here because that's just what I do. Oh my gosh, she's turning out really cute. What I'll probably do is just do the base coating today because I don't want these videos, even though they're live streaming. And plus, I got to take Amanda to her thing, so, but I still don't want these to be too long, because then nobody will watch them, you know, um, later on, if they're too long, I think. Trying to fix this. This he looks a little weird. There, I think that's gonna look better. I made that arm a little too fat, and his head was a little too fat, so I had to fix that. Oh, and then that went into the bowl. Okay, let's see. What else needs? 
Ah, it went all on the ball. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that, man. Just take that off. So there we go. Any cute? Here, let me put them up so that we can see them. Yeah, I really wish this camera would do justice. Because when y'all see the picture of it, you're going to be like, what? And I'm going to be like, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back over the gingerbread boy and the spoon. Oh, pretty cute. I love it. Love it. Now let's do the gingerbread boy. This gingerbread boy looks a little funky. Ugh. All right, and then let's see, go over the bowl. And this pretty color, I love this color. I wish I could see the color for sure. I'm so mad at this camera. It's not like I'm happy. Because this is not showing the true colors that this is. And then when I'm far away, y'all can't see what I'm doing, and I can't make this thing go any. Oh, well, I tried. I tried with the big, my big camera. It didn't work. This weather is icky, too, today. That's going to be cute. I don't like this gingerbread man, though, man. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. He looks funky, but maybe when I shade and everything, I can get it to look better. All right. That's better. All right, let's see. And then just over his face. In his body, in his hands with the buttermilk. And I'm just going to use this for his hands. Now we can shade. But I think I'll do that tomorrow. So if you want to see him shaded, you're going to have to come back. Tomorrow. I'm switching my brush. I'm gonna go oh uh, with the I love this brush, it's my foliage number four brush. It's so cute. I added a little water just to make sure that it's fluid, more fluid. Yeah, I'm so psyched. I was saying this oh, earlier that the um, 
My skin and cut will cut off some wood. Also, wood. I still find that hard to believe. I'm gonna have to YouTube that, man. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna mess up my machine. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay. And then a space. And then everything will be Iceland. Double coated. Except for the jar. I did leave the jar. One coat because I like the look of it because I just put my finger in that down there. Um, I like the look of it because it looks more like a jar because you can see the wood through it. So I like that look. All right. So. All right. That's so watery. That looks better. Oh, he's cute. There. See how I made it? I mean, it's still a little crooked, but that's okay. He's a snowman. I never had a perfect snowman. <laughs> but, I mean, that's why, that's why it's good to do a second coat. Because then you can kind of manipulate, you know, the way your snowman looks. All right. Yay, so cute. So, so cute. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Even though I do want to continue on. But tomorrow I will do all the shading and highlighting and get it finished. I like it. I think he's going to turn out cute. We'll see, though, won't we? <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Um, let me know down in the comments um, if you like the live streams, because I like doing the live streams, or if you, you know, really do prefer the edited videos. I mean, I, you know, I'll probably still do some of those, like if I'm teaching something that's I'm not done before. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as far as me just crafting and hanging out and having fun, I like to do these. Um, especially when I get to chit chat with everyone. I like that a lot. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, give it a like if you like the video. If you um, have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll come back for some live feed, hopefully. Barry's got his dentist appointment tomorrow, so I don't know what's going to be happening there. So, But hopefully I can get back on in the afternoon. All right, y'all. Oh, and if you do like the live streams, what time would you like to see them? Even though I craft all, all the time. So I doubt I'll have... See, that was another thing that stressed me out. I was trying to have a schedule. So, But anyway, you can tell me. <laughs> we'll see. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.